I knew I definitely didn't just want a nine to five office that I'd get bored. So what I've picked has definitely the best, the best of both worlds. I think when I told my parents I wanted to be an electrician, like my mom works in the bank and she was would have probably preferred me to go to the bank than go to a building site. But my dad had kind of said, sure, women can do whatever they want these days. So I decided to listen to him. <laughs> The electrical apprenticeship it went really quickly and um, by the end of it you know you're, you're, you're looking after your own piece of work and it is very rewarding just to, to finally get the, the trade and nobody can ever take that away from me I have it then for life you know. Well I think within the company itself you know they like to take people with a practical background and push them forward into different uh, roles within the company and, and for me it was definitely a positive to have the apprenticeship behind me and it opened up a lot of doors within my company. So for me, quantity surveying was the career path I wanted to pursue. There's different types of quantity surveyors. For me, I work as a, for a contractor, so it will be managing the commercial side of the, the project and uh, from setting the budgets, you know, to, to pricing variations, putting in the monthly payment applications, agreeing the final accounts. And obviously, everything is about the money nowadays, so it's, it's an important role and it would be, would be treated as such, you know, with all the managers, everybody wants to talk to the quantity surveyor because they know how the project is going. Construction projects don't wait for anybody. There's a, there's a start and a finish and it has to be done. And, you know, so you will find that everything has to be done yesterday and that would be the challenge and everybody gets on board and we all work as a team to get it done. It's good to be strong-minded as well because you know you're having to deal with different people, agreeing costs, and, and that sometimes isn't for the faint-hearted. You would have to be in meetings and, and uh, dealing with a lot of different personalities and different opinions on costs put forward. You know, there's times where you're probably you're on a, a, a smelly, cold site that maybe isn't a nice place to be. You know, there's times where you think, "My mad, it should be in a nice, warm office," but you know, it's. It, Sure, it's a good experience.